covered the minimum trim feature of DZ1G110 in other parts of our website. In this video, we would like to demonstrate the feature live and to illustrate some other associated concepts relevant to 0 or 1 to 10 volt dimming control. Here we have a COB mounted to a heat sink, which serves as a light source for our demonstration. Connected to it is the TCI multi-power 1 to 10 volt dimmer for LED driver, and the model number is TCI 122400. And we have our 1 to 10 volt controller connected to the driver. Now let's quickly demonstrate the dimming performance here. You can see a smooth dimming performance and we don't experience any dead trouble. What dead trouble means is that while we physically turn the dimmer button, there's no difference in the dimming level of the visible light. It's not uncommon that one would find a dimmer that shows dead trouble as much as one third of the entire dimming range towards the bottom end. To apply minimum trim, you will need to be at the current lowest brightness level and use a screwdriver to turn the min trim dial button like a volume control. To adjust it upwards, you can see a light level change like this. After that, you may use the main dial button to find out the new lighting range. By adjusting the minimum level, we have effectively adjusted the lighting range from the maximum to this new level. Similarly, Adjusting it downward, you can see the light output is gradually being reduced. After that, once again, you'll find the new dimming range that's wider than before. If we continue to adjust the minimum trim downward, you'll see the drive actually switches off the light when the control signal hits below 1 volt. As a matter of fact, this is where you'll see the inconsistency of many 0 to 10 volt devices in the market. Some would have a bit of light, while some would switch off the light output as we've shown in this case. It's not always like this. This is because, indeed, there is not a clear definition for the less than 1 volt region. In this region, the driver should maintain a minimum light output, which is largely up to the manufacturer's own interpretation of what that means. Interestingly, although we don't see any light output from the power meter, you'll see there's still a certain level of power consumption here. The input power definitely changes with the dimming or the brightness level. but it would not reach zero even when we see no light output. The light switch off behavior should only be interpreted as a way of how the driver responds to good control input change. And from our experience, some drivers will switch off the light when the input hits around 0 0.6 volt. At no light output, the driver must still be working so that when we readjust the light control input, it can pick up quickly and adjust the light output accordingly. This is what we have repeatedly commented in our websites that the 0 to 10 volt dimmer has no equivalence to actually cutting off the AC power to the LED driver. Giving a 0 volt control signal to driver is essentially the same as shorting the two input terminals, the dim plus and minus, together. In fact, prolonged operation of giving 0 volts to the driver can cause driver failure after a period of time. Thus, in our opinion, while we can achieve the effect of switching off the visible light, it's better to keep the lowest level a bit higher just to remind that the light is not properly switched off and that the AC power to the driver should be cut either with an on-off switch or by a power, man power management unit PMU. In summary, in this quick video we have demonstrated how the dimming range can be customized by the min trim option we have also highlighted that the LED drivers are still in operation though we see no light output. In fact, our suggestion is to adjust the lowest level just above the first so to remind proper power of practice. 
This little trick allows a good balance of enjoying the nice and smooth dimming performance while keeping the device's operation properly. Now let's conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. Once again, thank you for watching.